have one question for you. Three words. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, okay, I gotta say I'm a little nervous because I, I just feel like if I'm not able to solve them, then everyone's gonna laugh at me and people in the comments are gonna be like, she looks like she smells too. And okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was actually just asking you that so you could just like give me a scream and then tell me you're ready. So I'm gonna ask you again. Are you ready? <laughs> No. Yes, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Who would you save? Someone's snot-nosed kid, your dog, or five million dollars? There's only one seat. Okay, so here's here's the real question, Jay. Do you want to look good in front of your audience and be like, of course I'll save somebody else's kid? Or are you going to tell the truth and say that you're going to save your own dog? Oh, my audience knows I tell the truth. I don't care about that kid. He's already eliminated <laughs> from my brain. It's between my dog, my cute little dog, or five million dollars. Oh, that's the real competition. I don't care about that kid. That kid is already dead in my mind. Okay, you know what I would save? I would save save the one seat for myself. Otherwise, I just drown with five mil. <laughs> and I just have my five million and just go. <laughs> Die so happy. I'm gonna keep it real with you because that's all what? I do. Okay. I'd save my dog. That's kind of crazy because someone else's kid, I mean, that's that kid's parents' fault. Yeah, why is he out in the middle of the ocean nowhere? <laughs> What was this kid doing? I mean, yeah, I dropped my dog in the five mil in the ocean. I had nothing to do with that kid. You know what? I try to save the five mil and the dog. And then, like, <laughs> let's see if the weight allows me to just carry a couple million. You know, I'm not greedy. I'm not selfish. Just double fist. I'll just double take, like, two mil or something. Money. You know, nothing crazy. <laughs> but who would you choose? My dog. Okay, I'd choose the dog, too. <laughs> <laughs> I no way I'm letting my dog drown. I don't even know this kid. Who would you save? Someone's kid again? An old woman <laughs> or a pretty girl? Okay, honestly, though, who would you save? If they're all screaming at you, if the kid's like, please, please, and the old woman's like, but I'm so old. The pretty girl's like, I'll make it up to you. Who would you save? Do you know me? I know you. You don't know me. You think I you know, know me, you. but you I don't know, know me. You. You, would, you would reach your hand right into that ocean and grab that pretty girl straight out of there. No, wow. See, you don't know me. <laughs> you think oh, you know oh, what me. would you do then? I'd would you grab the, the timer I'd clock? I'd save someone's kid. No, you would not. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'd save the pretty girl. Come on, no? I would save the kid because the kid is the youngest. You guys witnessed it here first. Cassie lying <laughs> to your face. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> She's lying right to your face. That's so uh, cruel. I thought you loved everybody watching this. <laughs> I do. <laughs> the old lady hammed uh, me. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I can. she can jump. She can jump out the water. Who would you save? A millionaire? Your ex who cheated on you? Oh, yeah. We let her drown. We dunk in that head in the water. No, I'm <laughs> Your dad's new wife. <laughs> or a man who beat you up at school. What are they all doing here in the same ocean? I would save my dad's new wife. Wait, wait. Unless my dad left my mom for that new wife. Then I would let her drown. Who would you save then? Millionaire. I saved the millionaire too. High five. The members of a football Ooh. team were killed Ooh. in series. <laughs> oh, no. They just dropped dead. <laughs> Every week, someone killed one player. Bang. First week, Howard, number three. Number three? <laughs> it's like I'm an announcer. <laughs> Second week, Carlson, number two. Jello legs, <laughs> the king of the field. Third week, Stewart, number one. Oh, okay. And fourth week, Smith, five representing fit then this guy killed five people <laughs> donna zetti donna zetti is number nine six oh. week davidson are you kidding this me? guy's a serial killer seventh week rodriguez number oh, six poor thing look at the smile on that guy the police couldn't understand the logic of the murders maybe because the magnifying glass is looking up at the sky <laughs> and there were no other evidences but the numbers on the t-shirts Four players are still alive, Cassie. Patterson, Anderson, Williamson, and Washington. Who is the killer and oh. who's going to be killed next? Okay, so I'm assuming it's a pattern. Three, two, one, five, nine, eight, six. No, that's actually not even a pattern at all. Oh, I got it. I got it. Me too, me too. Who, who you got? No, no, you tell me first. No, no, you tell me no, first. No, 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 I think no, no, I'm wrong. You tell me first. You, you, tell, you tell me no, first. No, I'm not I talking. I, 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 you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm zipping not talking. it up. I'm not I'm, talking. I, I'm... All right, you know what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Cassie, I'm mm. gonna tell you. If you take that off your mouth, I'll, I'll talk. Okay. So, all these people died, and they yes. have single digit numbers, right? The numbers one, two, three, five, six, eight, nine. Wait, actually, my explanation is <laughs> actually kind of crap now. That's, no, that's exactly what I did in my head. <laughs> that's, why I knew. <laughs> that's why I was like, oh, no, 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 I can't. <laughs> 
Wait, I was thinking it was gonna be number four. Me too. We're going with four? Uh, wait, 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 wait. What? I'm letting it go. Wait, no, no, wait. Cassie. I, 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 what about the syllables in the names? Wait, wait, wait syllables, syllables. What, what, what do you mean syllables? Howard, Howard. Carlson, Stewart. Wait, Smith. Okay, Smith okay. Smith is one I syllable. Don't Come on now, I don't man. Know. You know what? I'm letting it play. Washington. Oh! I was right! Wait, Patterson? What? Wait, what? Washington? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You said Washington. It was the right answer. Oh, he's the killer. I knew it. Oh, I thought it was who was going to be killed next. <laughs> I thought so right, too, but right, you right. know what? Would you rather lose your leg or lose your lover? I'd rather lose my oh. leg. Leg. Easy. Easy yeah, money. Easy. Come on. Still got the other so leg. Easy. I can hop around. <laughs> Would you rather know that everything does come with a cost? I've been knowing that. <laughs> or... You always choose. Oh, wait, no. Would you rather what? <laughs> this is still part of the same one. Stupid. Damn it. My brain is all messed up, Cassie. Hold on. We got to time. We got to take a time out. Would you rather lose one hand, lose one leg, or lose two ears? If that guy lost two ears, number C, then why is there his eyes covered? <laughs> <laughs> all right. If you chose A, you wouldn't swap your liberty. Man, forget this. I'm skipping this. <laughs> Would you rather fart during your first interview or fart during your first? Uh -huh. Why does it look like he had <laughs> with the girl after the interview? That looks like the same girl. She has the same <laughs> red the marks same on her girl. face. <laughs> he just meets for interview and then farts and then goes to bed with her and farts again. Right. <laughs> oh, great. He's like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Max, a famous serial killer, <gasps> was hired to kill a businessman. You got that, Cassie? So he's a hitman. Yeah, he's a hitman. The businessman is now in London at the Ritz Hotel. Remember that. Fancy. Remember that. Max flew from the USA to England. He came to the hotel and paid the receptionist for the information. What information? Okay. He lives on the fifth <laughs> floor. Oh, okay, okay. In the first room on the left. Max walked up to the door with silence pistol in hand, knocked. <gasps> he's knocking, Cassie. And when the businessman came up to open it, he ow, shot. Ow, ow. What the? <gasps> Oops. It's not him. Wait, 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 wait. I think I know. In the US and in England, correct me if I'm wrong, are the hotel floorings different? For example, you know how in the US, the first floor is the bottom floor, like the ground floor. But sometimes I see like an elevator that still takes you from lobby to one, to two, to three. So he walked up the stairs. So maybe he got the numbers wrong. He went on like a different floor. Now that is some critical thinking. Do you agree with what I said? Yes, but I, I'm gonna say he had a, a special lady of the night over. No, I'm gonna say from US to England, the floors are different. He walked up the stairs and it was different. Okay, in England, the first floor is called ground floor. Oh, you're go! right, you're right. You know what I do. <laughs> you're go. right. I'm actually well happy that I got that. It would be the fifth floor in the US. But in England, it was the fourth. That was dope. Someone killed a young girl, Lisa, last night. No, not <laughs> Lisa. No, Lisa. The police arrived at the crime scene early in the morning and immediately questioned the main suspects. You got a good look at them, all four of these people? Yeah, 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 yeah. Patrick, Lisa's older brother. I was at home with my girlfriend, Alice. I buy it so far. Mia, Lisa's cousin. I was sleeping at home. My parents can confirm. She has an alibi. Alice, Lisa's friend. That night, I was with my boyfriend, Patrick. You don't have a boyfriend. It was you. Adam, Lisa's younger brother. I was camping with a girl 100 miles off the town. Who killed Lisa? Okay, so Patrick and Alice were with significant others, right? Mia was sleeping. She has an alibi. It couldn't have been Mia. And Adam was camping 100 miles away. By himself? Why would you do that? Adam did it. I know he did. You think? He has no witness. Adam, <gasps> if he was far away from the town, how could he come so early for questioning? Okay, you keep nailing all of these. Cassie, you're locked in a room. Ah! With four doors and a wall clock. One of the doors leads to the freedom. Not even freedom, the freedom. <laughs> and the others to your death. So one out of four is good. Three out of four, found a note with numbers. One, four, eight, 11, and one. Remember that, Cassie. Don't forget it. Got it. How can you choose the right door? So the time is 2.50 with 35 seconds. Or is it 1.50? It's 1.50. It's 1.50 at 35 seconds. Uh-huh. So that doesn't even make any sense. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's 148, then you have to go through the 11 minus 1 door. What? The 10th door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for some reason, those numbers formed on the clock, formed uh -huh. that shape right there. What the hell? And it's supposed to be the same shape on the door 
uh, of the green right here. What the fuck? You see the window? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, you've got to be joking me. you got to be smoking <laughs> me right now. What will you fix first? Calm the child. Take the call. Save the oh, cat. Wow. Oh, definitely save the cat. I'm turning off the stove or else we're all dying. That's a very, very good point. I would freak out though and I'd be like, save the cat. Family is the most important thing to you if you save the kid. Okay. You are a responsible and mature person. I'm definitely not that. What about the cat? The stove, you're impatient and a bit inconsistent. You often regret your decisions. That's definitely me. If you save the cat, you are kind and gentle, but sometimes you are too sentimental. Oh, come off it. Liam and Rose were a happy couple married for five years. One day, a guest from another country visited them. Liam fell in love with the guest immediately. It was the face he had been seeing for a long time. On one day, he killed and buried his wife. Bruh. The next day, Rose showed up with the police, and Liam realized he had killed the guest instead. How was that possible? He had a twin sister. Oh. Okay. He had a sister. Right. No, he didn't in have a, a sister. She had a sister. <laughs> in an estranged country, I suppose. Tell me I'm right. Yes! Hey. Yeah, you're right. The guest was Rose's twin sister who lived abroad. Who is the killer? I'm not quite sure who the killer. This is all three of their phones, right? Yeah. And they all took like similar selfies, yeah? Yeah. It was the uh, it was the blonde girl. Why? Because she was like reaching, grabbing a gun. Wait, where's the gun? I'm just kidding. Oh. Uh. So I think it was. The... I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. <laughs> Alright guys, but that is gonna do it for this episode of doing riddles with Cassie. We actually did even more riddles on her channel. If you guys have never even seen her channel before, go to that riddle video that I'm in on her channel right now and tell her that dude sent me. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of me and Cassie doing some of these riddles and want more like this in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!